Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than the tech reviews. This is going to be a one-time video and that's it. And we're going to talk about Will Smith smacking uh, Chris Rock at the Oscars. This is something that just popped up out of nowhere. I was actually doing editing on a video when uh, a, few, a few of the guys in the group chat sent me this message. And even though it was a little entertaining, we have to talk about what happens when a man reaches his breaking point. Now, it wasn't the Chris Rock joke that went over the line. They're comedians. They're paid to talk trash. They say certain things. And to be honest, Chris Rock's jokes are really tasteful a lot of the times. He's not like other comedians where he's in a position where he's trying to talk badly about other people. But with that being said, um, if you aren't aware of it, let me go ahead and skip forward to this part of the video if I can find it. Here we are. So we're going to watch the slap. We're going to watch the reaction. And then we're going to just talk about how ridiculous this is at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> so, <laughs> the thing about this, this slap is that, give you a little context to the situation. Jada came out, uh, apparently Will and Jada have an open relationship. Apparently. And you know, she was extremely messy with her work. She decided to screw one of her friends, no, one of her son's friends, which is a quarter of her age, and basically uh, got caught in an entanglement, as they call it, the entanglement. The problem here is that there has been a lot of memes. There's been a lot. If there wasn't a red table talk amongst other things, this probably wouldn't have been an issue. But Will Smith has, you know, straight beta mail written all over his chest, and that's primarily. Because uh, his response to what actually happened with the situation. So time comes up, you know, more things are getting exposed by his wife because she had been no one to shut her mouth. And she's just completely uh, emasc emasculate. I think that's the correct word. I could be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? She basically cupped her husband. We're going to use that word instead. And as time went on, I know the memes and different things, you know, really got to him. He started doing little interviews and stuff, talking about, oh, yeah, I remember one time where I slapped the guy and this happened. And it's like, listen, Will Smith raised two extremely awkward, weird children with Jada Pinkett Smith. Granted, they're successful, and that's fine because, you know, each person lives their entire life. But realistically, we're talking about the standards. I mean, I grew up, I'm in my 30s, and liking video games or just doing artwork was considered nerdy back then when I was growing up. So these kids are just extremely awkward if, if, we, if we could put it, if we compare them to how I grew up. And, you know, at the end of the day, most people are going to look at this relationship and say, Will Smith is being ran around by his wife. Will Smith is a cut. Will Smith is this, he's that. We don't know the inner works of his relationship. But what we can say is that this is what happens when assuming it's not staged because that smack was kind of fast. I, I didn't even see the hand. This man must have been boxing. I mean, he did play Muhammad Ali at one point, so <laughs> that's probably why his hands is moving fast. But if it's not staged, this is what happens when a guy just keeps getting ridiculed on a regular basis. And I don't believe for one second that the Chris Rock um, joke was over the top. It's just more of a situation where he laughed at the joke. He laughed at it. A few seconds later, his wife didn't find it funny. Apparently, she has alopecia. Uh, personally, I don't really care because that doesn't actually give you the right to put your hands on another man. On the other hand, it's an award show. People have, look at Ricky Gervais. They should have found that guy and chased him down the uh, street if that was the case. And this guy's been on the Oscars a hundred times. So and his jokes were a lot more harsh than this. But I will say that if this was anyone else, this wouldn't have happened. If this was some... Uh, I might want to say a white dude, and I don't want to go play the race card, but the fact that he felt comfortable enough to do that says a lot about his character, where you are, dude the smaller than you, Chris Rock, dude cracks jokes, you go up there, and for whatever reason, you think that this is a good idea to show your ass on an award ceremony show that you claim you always are trying to boycott. And you put your hands on someone. Now, of course, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen, assuming he decides to go that route or to settle outside of court, however they decide to do it. But it's just a simple fact. Like, doing this isn't going to give you your testicles back. Alcina took him already when he smashed your wife. 
then he basically handed one to Jada and they just dangled it in front of your face. This is not the way you get your uh, manhood back. This is this is similar to that Kanye situation when it's like, listen, doing crazy stuff isn't going to make you look tough. You already made uh, Carlton a Xanax smoking crackhead and uh, uh, the <laughs> remake of Fresh Prince. <laughs> you made uh, Jeffrey a hitman. <laughs> you made uh, uh, Uncle Phil a, a corrupt politician and all that. Listen, <laughs> you did enough damage in your career, Big Will. You did enough damn it just let it go but it, it's it's crazy and then at the end of this he starts crying at his award ceremony you know i, I, I did what i wanted to do as a man oh my god and, oh, and i had to do what needed to be done and denzel was looking like don't you use my quote you <laughs> denzel was thinking it was like this what is this he's like hey, i came here to get this meal and watch the war show, not watch you cry on stage. Like, how are you the one Terry eyed when you just slapped a grown man in the face, tried to get tough with him? Don't you talk about my effing wife. <laughs> then start crying when you receive reward because you're overly emotional. Like, listen, buddy, stop pumping est estrogen in your system. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a pretty interesting video. But again, this is what happens when you don't have men's support groups and things like that. I mean, the butt of jokes for men, it's just like you just have to take it and deal with it. When it comes to women, their support, there's everything that you need. When it comes to men, you are just a walking punching bag. But anyway, let's just watch the last part of this video and I'll stop it. Name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I could, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at Ross' face. <laughs> What's funny about this thing is that you know Chris Rock is mad, assuming the, the, the uh, slap is real. In addition to that, <laughs> no one expected this man to overreact. I think they're more surprised at the fact that he's overreacting at this joke. Yes, your wife is G.I. Jane. It's okay. <laughs> There's no reason to flip out and act all nutty for that. But anyway, that's the video, guys. I just wanted to just kind of just bring light to the fact that, you know, Wilson had an entire legacy. Fresh Prince, amongst other things. Uh, you know, he married Jada, which was never done with Tupac, to be honest. I mean, you know, some of these, these women will forever want to deal with the last person and always compare you to someone else, which you shouldn't do. You never checked her. She doesn't have any respect for you to begin with because she's on her TV show talking about what she likes and what she doesn't want to do. And, you know, you basically shape your daughter's understanding of relationships because she sees you guys. And it's like, I don't want that. <laughs> it's just... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a lot. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that's the video. Um, no sympathy for Will. You got cucked a long time ago. Now you're trying to act all tough. We, I can excuse my language because this is a tech channel. I can see the bitch energy in him. You could just see. You, you could just taste the ho the whole weak bitch energy that this guy eludes, or or not not eludes, but <sighs> it's just trifling. I can't believe that he would do something as silly as this and think that this is going to get you brownie points. It's not. And Jade is not the person that you should be. I say you shouldn't fight for your wife, but you you didn't even uh, slap the guy that was just, you know, putting ripples in your wife's back. But you slapped this guy? Ugh. All right. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.